Hey everybody, today we're going to be talking about five reasons how reading books can help change your life. Now I've read over 500 books over my lifetime, mostly nonfiction, and you don't need to read that many by the way. It's not this ego game about counting, but reading more books will help you and we're going to cover five ways that will. You get to live a thousand lives in your one life. Um, I can't emphasize how much a good biography can really show you someone's entire life and you get to see it through their eyes, learn their mistakes uh, without having to feel the suffering from that and go through their life. For example, uh, I've read a few memoirs and biographies recently, most notably was Arnold Schwarzenegger's biography. This man had such a whirlwind adventure. Did you know he was a real estate millionaire before he even started acting? Bodybuilding really didn't pay him that much. And so he was a bodybuilding champion, lived in extreme poverty in Austria, overcame all that to come to the United States, do all that, and then become governor. And I learned so much from his life. Obviously, I can't take away a lot of it, because uh, I'm not exactly just like him. I don't have the genetics for uh, bodybuilding competition, but a lot of it I could still take away. And to be able to experience his life and understand his attitude has shaped and changed how I think about the world. He was a very optimistic guy, and I've become more optimistic because of reading his book. So that's what you can learn from books. I mean, he, he, we went through a lot of struggles. Uh, he cheated. That really cost him a lot in his uh, life when it, he it got found out so those are lessons that you can learn that you that can improve your life without having to go through those pains uh, so that's the first reason second reason is it can really enrich your actual life now uh, I'm not gonna sit here and say like it's completely changed my life I've read a lot of books by millionaires and I'm not a millionaire yet that being said um, I've learned so much from those books I've been able to uh, improve my negotiation skills, reduce my rent costs, uh, reduce and negotiate other things through negotiation books, through finance books. I've been able to uh, cut down on expenses, save more, invest properly, grow my money. All these things through the power of books. You can really change the uh, long-term projection of your health, your wealth, your finances, and your relationships through books. There are books on all of that, and there's so much uh, knowledge through time-tested principles nowadays and uh, science that can really help you out. And that leads us to number three. The third way it can really help you is that it can enrich your life through the better decisions you make. For example, Jeff Bezos talks about the regret minimization framework. Obviously, I use that and others to really make a move to New York City. And no, it's not it was it's not always some glamorous experience when I went to New York City. There were uh, tougher times because I was still on the budget, but there's a lot of very enriching lux luxury like times. Me sitting, uh, you know, by a bench eating a high quality pizza, one of the best pizzas in the country, watching uh, the cityscape. That was pretty affordable, and, and there I was doing it. Um, and that's something that I don't know if I would have done if it wasn't for all the books and self-development I've taken because I realized, hey, I don't want to live in the same suburban area of my whole life and then just regret it, not having traveled the world, the country, and just had a lesser life out of a fear of discomfort, fear of safety. And obviously, you have still have to be careful when you travel. There's, uh, you know, travel bloggers... Uh, that have died because they've gone too extreme with their travels but you don't you know there's a healthy medium and I think I took that chance because I realized uh, that I did I wanted to not have those regrets and I see a lot of others struggle with the opposite of that um, or they kind of lean more on that, that side of safety or comfort and through this this idea that I learned from books like Michael Strahan's book Wake Up Happy this idea of not what if but when and, and, and that optimism and happiness and, and and just considering what if that's possible. And so I've done things to make that happen. I've done things, gone to my boss, asked for things that I just uh, used to assume wasn't possible. And so I asked him, would it be possible if I were to move, if I were to have a remote job, if I were to travel and, and live where, uh, and move to an area where I want? Uh, and through those things, 
uh, through the books, I was able to improve. So I believe that was number three. So number four, the fourth reason it can help you is it can really up level the skill sets, the abilities that you have uh, in a more effective way. Now your mom, your dad, your family, your friends can give you productivity tips. But how credible is that? How effective is that? Chances are you've tried something that your parents recommended and it didn't work out that well. Uh, but then you try things from books that represent sometimes decades of scientific research across large populations that are much more accurate and believable and effective. And those end up being much more effective. And I think there's so much of that info still hidden that needs to be unearthed in books. For example, John Gottman is a very successful uh, marriage uh, scientist. He has like a 95% success rate when the average marriage counselor has a 50% uh, success rate in predicting divorce. Now, you know, there's a statistic floating around that like 50% of marriages end in divorce. And as Warren Buffett says, marriage is one of the most important decisions you make in your life. So by reading his books and reading the decades of research that he put into to get that success rate, and he, he walks out in detail why most marriage counselors and people with their opinions on what predicts divorce are wrong and what science, objective, non-biased science has shown, you will... You, you discover very uh, surprising, shocking things. Oh, I didn't realize that is what led to divorce. Um, and by me reading these books, I think it will further enrich and hopefully negate a lot of uh, hardships by being much more efficient uh, with the advice and the actions you take. And then I'm going to end with the fifth one. and the, I'm going to end with a fun one because it's not all just serious, serious success, success in your health, wealth, love, and happiness. Um... So the, the fifth one is that reading more books is just a more enriching, entertaining experience. Yes, I love my TV. I watch a lot of TV, Netflix, HBO, Crunchyroll, all that stuff as well. But uh, books have a different feel to it, a different story, and a different realm to it. And you know where a lot of that TV is coming from, Game of Thrones, Dune? It's coming from books, and chances are the books do it better. Uh, Ender's Game, Lord of the Rings, the books do it better. There's certain uh, elements to the magical world that uh, the fiction world brings that have really reduced my anxiety and my stress levels when I really needed it. When I moved to New York, it was very tough um, initially because I was so anxious. I was scared. I was worried that I wouldn't be able to uh, make friends or, or be happy and just be alone. And the the books that I read, fiction books in particular, really helped calm me and, and improve me and, and, and so forth. And through books, um, you get to see all these magical worlds. And some of it may come true. You know, a lot of the sci-fi has come into real life. But even if it doesn't, you get to really experience the awe of a fantastic story that you've never experienced. And then when you meld that with nonfiction and you realize on top of all of this, that's a true story. It's not based on a true story. It is a true story. That's when your mind gets blown. Your, your motivation and your inspiration hit new levels. When you see someone coming from these crazy situations to achieving something they did and uh you know it's it's not always just about success either sometimes it's it's books about like someone uh discovering something cool i read a book on the science of interstellar a great mix of non-fiction and fiction and through that you just see how amazing how incredible the world is how complex things like black holes and uh space time travel is and you get a genuine new lens to appreciate life to to experience the world and you know as just to wrap it all up it's you learn more about uh the world in an enriching way that just calms you and, and makes you feel better so that's it those are the re reasons why you should read more books once again it's not about you reading 500 it's about you having a blast having a better life a more fulfilling entertaining enriching successful life how you define success not how the world defines success whether that's money or not whether that's just having a uh, friends or or all this stuff i think reading just one or two more books it, it really will open your eyes especially if you choose a good one so i highly highly encourage it i think people drastically underestimate the power of a book and i'll see you in the next video